What's up guys, it's bye bye here with another Rise of Kingdoms videos. Uh, in today's videos, I will do a comparison between Season of Conquest KBK and KBK CN2 and CN3 from a free to play player's perspective. Uh, if you don't think I am a free to play player, you don't have to watch this video anymore. But if you are, you, if you think I'm a free to play player, then continue watching the videos. So, a little bit about myself, uh, I will play uh, 3 KBK Season 2 and 4 Live vs Darkness KBK Season 3 and 1 Season of Conquest KBK on my main account and about half a uh, Season of Conquest KBK on my other auth account. Uh, so, in today's videos, uh, I will do a comparison between the two type of KBK and at the end of the vid at the end of the vi of the videos I will tell you guys my recommendation to which kind of players you should be playing in which KVK. So let's go right into it, to it here. Uh, first thing first, uh, you care about the reward, right? So for Season of Conquest versus KVK Season 2 or KVK Season 3 Light versus Darkness, uh, I believe that uh, for season, season of Conquest, you actually get slightly better rewards overall. Uh, I believe it is actually free to play friendly when it comes to rewards. Uh, more rewards for everyone because uh, because of the coalition system, uh, you get very decent reward from the shop if you lose as well. Uh, to show you guys what I mean, uh, let's go right back into the game here. So I am currently in season of season of conquest KVK, and so a lot of the crusader achievement right there's still a lot of individual achievement here you can achieve and you can get a decent amount of rewards there uh there are also like a coalition system here as well uh for coalition reward here everybody in the co coalition can get it and you can get a lot of people right uh if you look at my uh, coalition right here uh we have about four four lines in the coalition here so like everybody, everybody in the coalition can get the rewards there. Uh, compared to like uh, KVK CN2 or CN3, only one alliance can get the rewards. For example, if it comes to like capture the gate or capture the structure, only one alliance can get it. But here, uh, like sometimes three, four alliance can get the same rewards there. So a lot more players can get it as well. Uh, another thing is that you need to keep in mind is that the shop system in Season of Conquest KVK uh, I am 27, 28 days in the Season of Conquest KVK here and I haven't spent anything here and I was able to get 139 Season Coins already that is enough to for me to buy 10 Legendary Equipment Material Choice Chests here which is a lot, right? It is a very very high amount of uh, materials for like, free to play players uh, so like by the end of this KVK, I should be able to buy at least either max down on the equipment my total choice chest here. Or I could buy some legendary commander sculpture as well. Or I could buy some of the blueprint here if I want to. So the choice are there for you to make. Uh, but like the reward available are there for everybody. You don't have to do anything. Uh, all, you have to, all you have to do is to spend some uh, speed up to like upgrade your building. Uh, doing some uh, batching quests every day and level up some of your research. For you to get the season coins and doesn't matter if you win or lose kvk everybody's gonna get a very very decent amount of season coins by the by the end of uh, the kvk like even for free to play players you should be able to get at least 300,000 300, season coins uh, if you yet manage to do your daily quest every day uh, that is probably the amount you will be getting so you can either get 25 25 legendary commander sculpture here or 10 legendary equipment equipment material choice chests. So a very very good amount of rewards there just from the shop alone. Uh compared to um compared to um to like KVK season 2 and season 3. Like a lot of the rewards often come from like only come available for the main alliance, either top one or top two alliance. And a lot of time you also have to win KVK, right? So you could be in KVK CN2, but if you lose, you will not get much of the rewards there. Uh, that is why I'm saying uh, for Season of Conquest KVK, you're actually getting better and more rewards overall in terms of value. Uh, in KVK CN2 and CN3, you kind of get more speed up uh, uh, there if, if you are in one of the top lines, right? If you're not in the top lines, you get pretty much nothing there. Uh, 
Uh, so I, I so in terms of rewards, I definitely like Season of Conquest more than KVK Season Two and Season Three. Uh, in KVC, in KVK Season Two and Season Three, uh, Season Two you got a uh, Uzi Ten. Definitely not help there with a uh, free to play player, right? Like I am not using Uzi Ten on my account. Like I, I have her at like five two something something, right? Uh, I will play a few KVK Season Three and I Season Two, and I got some of her sculptures there, but it's I'm not investing on her. Because she definitely not helping for like free to play players there, right? Unless you wanna work on the gear and commander, which I don't re really recommend. Um, or like for like KVK Season Three, uh, you get uh the so scholar coins, which is I don't think it's a very very good item for free to play players. Uh, as you can see, I'll show you guys here. Back to the game, right? Uh, on my account here, I got um. I got uh, I think four. I think I got like four blueprints for the for the scholar coins, but I never craft them, um, because it costs a lot of uh equipment material choice jets or equipment materials overall. Um, is it very very difficult to craft this item? And I think there are much better I other items that better fit for like free to play players. That is why I haven't crafted lucky coin yet. Even though I have uh about. Uh, four or five, I think five, five legendary equipment here. Uh, but like again, right? I played this game for a long time, right? I played this game for like a thousand and two days here. Uh, so you can't really compare yourself with me there. Um, so let's go back in here. So that is for the rewards there. So to sum up, right? Uh, I definitely think that Season of Conquest is definitely get better rewards for compared to KVK Season Two and Season Three. If you disagree with me. Feel free to let me know in the comments, but I gave you the point. Why do I think Season of Conquest is giving better rewards there? I think some players, they might think Season of Conquest is giving less reward because they look at the achievement. But overall, I definitely think that Season of Conquest gave better rewards compared to KVK Season 2 and Season 3. Uh, in terms of speed up here, uh, for playing Season of Conquest, you definitely have to spend around 30,000 minutes of building speed up and about 40 days. To 50 days of research speed up there for you to get the amount of crystal for you to buy uh for you to get the cn coins and you can buy out the shops um for kvk cn2 and cn3 uh you don't really need any extra additional building speed up or research speed up there because there are no actual building uh so to show you what i'm, ta I'm talking about here let's go back into the game again so seasonal conquest uh you will have to upgrade the building crystal mine to level 25 uh, you have to upgrade the crystal research center as well at the same time you also have to do some research here inside the crystal research center and you will definitely have to spend some uh, research speed up on them if you want to speed thing up uh, otherwise you won't be able to gain a lot of crystal uh so that is something you need to keep in mind for the 2kvk uh so that is for the speed up uh for death troops uh season of conquest actually you actually get better in terms of death troop because you get 50% of your death troop back. Uh, compared to KBK season 2, season 3, you, you actually gain nothing. You gain nothing back. If you get a million troop die from KBK, they are gone. Right? Nothing coming back. Uh, for season of conquest, if you get um, if you get uh, a million troop die in KBK, you got 500,000 of those troop backs, which is very, very good. I would say very, very free to play friendly, to be honest. Uh, in terms of life, Reinforcing uh, structure, re reinforcing rally. Uh, you can afford to to play more a little bit more aggressively when it comes to KVK Season of Conquest versus KVK Season Two and Season Three. Uh, so let's talk about resources here. Uh, so in terms of resources, uh, Season of Conquest definitely definitely require more resources overall. Uh, if you're like an active fire. Uh, it's also need additional resources to run the crystal mine and donate bastion quest as well. Uh, if you look at, go back into the game here. So to run the crystal mine, you need to you need to generate generate crystal every day. Uh, you do need to run it, and every time you run it here, uh, you gotta have to spend your resources. So you do need to do some extra farming there, if you wanna gain more crystal. Uh, some of the bastion quests also require you to donate uh resource it as well 
so there is another like, resource burner right there and you definitely need to uh, either farm more or make farmer cows to uh, get more resources there uh as for in terms of fighting uh uh fighting is definitely a lot more fighting as well in uh, season of conquest and now and that's the reason why you're going to need a lot more resources there if you're like an active fighter. Uh, for KVK CN2 and CN3, uh, the amount of resources is pretty fixed there. You don't need any additional resources for doing anything. And I would say it, 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 it has less fighting. It has less fighting compared to Season of Conquest KVK. Uh, the, again, right, it also depends on which kingdom in your KVK. But like from what I'm seeing so far, like overall, a uh, season of conquest kvk has a lot more fighting compared to kvk season 2 season 3 not like a lot more slightly more i would say like overall uh another thing about the season of conquest versus kvk season 2 and season 3 is the legendary tavern uh so the legendary tavern for season of conquest you get one free spin every day this is a very very good way to unlock some of the mighty scum event commanders if you get lucky uh, take your time and you will be able you might be able to unlock some of them uh, definitely a good addition to the golden keys uh, for KB, KB season 2 and season 3 you do not get the legendary tavern so let's go back here into the game uh, as you can see right here go to the event uh, so the legendary tavern only available for season of conquest KBK and you get a one free key every day which is pretty good and you have a chance to get um you have a chance to get uh, some of the commanders uh, i've uh, i've got lucky i've got a couple like sculpture single one only but i think there is a chance for you to get uh 10 as well and like for example right if you got like a nine constantine uh, sculpture and you need one more to unlock him and you cannot wait until the next mighty governor event you might get lucky here you might get lucky here and you might be able to get one of his sculpture here and you might be able, be able to unlock him without the need to participate in the mighty governor event i know in some kingdom it can be very very difficult for you to win the mighty governor event so this is a pre actually a pretty good chance a like pretty good chance for you to to unlock some of the commander here uh what i'm what my strategy for the uh, legendary tavern because i have a pretty solid amount of commander already I my strategy my strategy for it is actually just saving up on the key here. Uh, when I have a two hundred key, when I have a two hundred keys, uh, I can definitely try to open them, and that will guarantee you, that will guarantee you a chance to unlock one commander because you can select if you open if you use two hundred keys, you can unlock you can get one commander's ten sculpture right here and you can unlock any of them right. So let's say if I have a two so twenty right now maybe i'm gonna save a few more they are going to be events that give you the legendary tavern key here but like if i have a 200 here and let's say oh there's a new uh, commander come out and if i don't want to wait for it i can definitely use my 200 legendary tavern key here to unlock that commander right away and when i use that 200 legend uh, legendary tavern keys i have a chance to unlock other commander as well which is very very nice which is definitely better than the golden key i would say uh, because like if you like in kvk season 2 season 3 you only have the, the tavern here which gave which you have to use the golden key and the commander in the golden key are not that great right uh, they're not that great and the golden key reset time is two days right when you think about the legendary tavern key which is only one day where right? you get a free spin every day which is very very good i i love it uh, it is not the best event if you want to spend your jam on but it is a very very good free event if you only use the free spin so let me put it out there uh that is another plus side another boat bonus point right there for season of conquest uh for kvk matching uh for season for season of conquest you have very very high chance of being matched with a much older kingdoms or much younger kingdom so if you're in an older kingdom, you might have a good chance of matching with younger kingdom. It's 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 good for you. But if you're in like a younger kingdom, you have a higher chance of matching with uh, an older kingdom, and you might be at disadvantages when it comes to like open field fighting or coming to a rally or or whatnot, right? Uh, or for KVK season two or season three, Live versus Darkness, uh, you match with 
pretty much the same kingdom around your kingdom is there most of the time you can probably figure out who's going to be in your kvk very very early on so that kind of like uh like a bonus point right there for cn2 cn3 uh next one uh i think some of you guys might even uh I think some of you guys might uh, concern more about this is the fighting ability here. So for season of conquest, uh, they are lots of fighting early on, like just pretty much the same as KVK CN2 and CN3. Uh, not not CN3, CN2. Uh, a bit harder, uh, a bit harder to get a kill for like, free to play players, but it's not impossible, right? Uh, I can show you guys right here. Oh, someone just subscribe. <laughs> uh, so I can show you guys right here uh, my current achievement here. Right, I am in, I am in uh, season of conquest here as a free to play player. Right, free to play research here, and I was able to get twenty four million kills. Again, right, I am a very very active fire. You probably gonna have a, a little bit less, uh, depend on how hard you fire in KVK, and depend on how good your commander are as well. But it's not impossible for you to get a lot of kills there. Uh, it is still possible. It's just a little bit harder. Uh, so like, why is it harder? Well, one thing is that um, you gonna have to compete against some of the other bigger players, right? So you gonna have to share the kill with them. Now you gonna have less kill compared to before because they gonna have a better research, a better equipment. So they gonna have to be able to get more kills. At the same time, most of the time you're gonna have to be fight against some of the bigger players as well. And you will probably suffer a lot of severe wounded as well. Uh, so as I said before, like a very, very heavy resource it costs to, to play in Season of Conquest. So for you to be able to get a lot of kills, you're going to need a lot of resources here. Uh, as I mentioned before, right? When I compare the resources here, uh, Season of Conquest need a lot more resources. But again, uh it's it's still possible for free to play player to get a very decent amount of kills there uh so there is a new thing uh, called crystal research but you should still do five if you fight smart uh just don't go do one versus one against some like pay to win players and you'll be fine right find the group uh go with everybody sometimes somehow or sometimes you can just hide behind some of the big players as well uh if you don't have very very strong commanders uh it also has much much lower risk of getting locked because of the map layout uh there is no there is no no way for you to do like a 2v1 early on in in either like heroic anthem kvk or strap the 8 kvk right because of the map layout most of the time it's gonna be a 1v1 right if you get locked up against a 1v1 or uh, it's on you right in the earlier kvk like cn2 you can you can blame that oh your map position is Free crap you had to do a 1v2 you get locked but like it's a 1v1 right there is no excuse if your kingdom get locked up there right so it's a much much lower lower chance of getting locked uh, a lot of time you you also have access to the other zone with your ally as well um, next one is most of a lot of the fight happened at the gate uh, a big huge fight at the gate uh, sometimes it can be annoying it can be tiring as well and frustrated right as you can see right here i'll show you guys uh, an example right now in our kvk uh there have been a fire at this level six pass for oh we got the pass oh my god did we get the gate just now oh shoot we just got the gate um but like there have been a fire in this gate for the past i don't know like four days right four days here only been fighting at this gate only it's it's crazy. It's been crazy, crazy fight at that gate there. Uh, I think we finally managed to break through just now. Right, one of the fort just got burned just now here. Uh, this fort hasn't burned yet, but we we just we just able to get into that gate just now after four days. So, uh, some big big crazy fight can happen at the gate there. Uh, oh, did I show? Did I show the? Oh, I didn't show the I didn't show the map, did I? Um, let me show the map again here. Uh, show you guys right here, right? So this is where the gate we've been fighting at here for like four days, and we just finally managed to break through here after four days. And this fort is just burned just now, just now. We just able to burn that fort. Uh, and this one did not burn yet, 
And now we are doing some open field fighting here. I might go down here and help Lear. I might. After this video, obviously. <laughs> uh, let's go back here. Let's finish this video quickly so we can help with fighting. Uh, oh. So another thing about fighting is that um, it is a lot less forgivable in the open field fight because there are going to be a lot more players. Because there are a lot more kingdoms in this KVK. In the season of conquest, there could be up to 20, 24 kingdoms. So there are going to be a lot more players compared to the other KVK. Uh, so it's definitely less forgivable when, it, when you have to fight against some of the other kingdoms, some of the other camps. So they make like a big murder ball there. One mistake, it's, it's pretty much like a full hospital there for you. Uh, and another thing about fighting in season of conquest is the issue with the fort. Uh, sometimes uh, it can get annoying as well, right? Because all the camps, they can, they can build a lot of fort. They can build a lot of fort. They can block you from access to a certain zone, certain area here. Uh, even like when later, when we go into their camp, they can definitely block the entire Crusader camp as well with fort. So like fort is a big issue here. And a lot of time, you're not going to be able to go to where you want to go just because of like there are so many kingdom in this KVK. They can manage to build so many forts there. And sometimes it can get real, real annoying to burn through some of the fort here. Right? Real, real annoying. Uh, so that is something you need to keep in mind as well. Uh, so that is what I think of so far for Season of Conquest. Uh, for KVK Season 2 and Life of the Darkness KVK. Uh, KVK Season 2, a lot of fighting in KVK Season 2 early on. Uh, KVK Season 2, you also have a higher risk of getting luck or an unfair fighting. Uh, because you, you might have to do a 1v2 early on. Uh, KVK Season 3 is just one big fight in Kingsland most of the time uh, with a lot of fighting in Ruins. Uh, for like free-to-play emergence, uh, you can get uh, good advantages here with your commanders and equipment and researches. So if you migrate back to some of the jungle kingdom to do uh, KVK CN2 and CN3 again, you're going to have that advantages. Uh, next thing is Lost Canyon. Uh, for Season of Conquest, it is much, much harder because there are a lot more kingdoms. And there you have to compete against a lot more like, big players. Uh, compared to the like, KVK CN2 and CN3, there are only 8 kingdoms there. Uh, it is definitely easier. Um, Show you guys a uh, lost canon here for my KVK, right? Um, I've never been like in KVK season two and season three. I will never get out of top fifty. Like I always, always in the top fifty. But like for season of conquest here, right? Sometimes I'm even ranked two hundred here, and sometimes it can be pretty difficult to me for me to uh, climb up because I have to compete against a lot of big, big player here. Right? Let's try to hit one of the player here. See if we can uh, defeat him here. But uh, to, just to make my point, it is a lot harder. It is a lot harder here. Yeah, another defeat there. As you can see, uh, usually I don't I don't lose a lot when it comes to a KVK CN2 and CN3 in uh, Lost Canyon. Uh, next thing is Barbarian Fort. Uh, so a uh, first season of conquest, there are much higher level Barbarian Fort and Barbarians. Uh, so there are level 11 plus forts and level 40 plus barbarian there. It also costs you double the action points for you to kill those things. Uh, for KVK Season 2 and Season 3, uh, they only level 6 to 10 forts uh, and level 26 to 40 barbs there. So def like free to play players, it's definitely not recommended for you to rally uh, level 11 forts uh, when it comes to Season of Conquest KVK. Uh, in, in KVK Season 2 and Season 3, like, I think anybody can just rally for it and uh, kill barbs. But uh, for Season of Conquest, you definitely need to have pretty decent research and pretty decent commanders. For you to launch in rally, or uh, if you want to chain barbs, you definitely need uh, pretty decent research as well. So that is something you need to keep in mind uh, in terms of your power. Uh, and last thing is my recommendation for players. Uh, so like for Season of Conquest, uh, I recommend players that play the game at least 600, 600 and more days uh, with max research. Uh, if you want to focus or if you want to focus to work on your, your equipments, 
because a lot of the rewards from uh, Season of Conquest have to do with like equipment material choice chests. So you can go there if you want to uh, to work on your equipments before your commanders. Uh, if you have a not max, if you have a not max your res your res your normal research, uh, avoid this KVK. Avoid Season of Conquest if you not max your research yet. Right, you want you still want to use your building speed up and your research speed up on your actual research, so that you got you can be strong permanently. Right, you don't want to invest on some research that got go away after the KVK is over. And I strongly recommend the Season of Conquest for active fires. I I I believe from what I'm seeing so far, right, not just my KVK, but a lot of other Season of Conquest KVKs, there are a lot of fightings going on. Uh it, it's just really, really nice if you are looking for some big fight. As I said before, right, not all KVK has the same amount of fighting, but from what I'm observing so far, like Season of Conquest definitely have more fighting compared to uh, KVK Season 2 and Season 3. Uh, and for KVK Season 2 and Season 3, I, re I recommend for players that haven't played more than 600 days yet or 95 players, right, you should consider playing one more Season 2 or Live vs. Darkness KVK Season 3. Or, or player who wants that advantages over new players can migrate and keep playing again in Season 2 and Season 3. That if what uh, if that what you want. Uh, so yeah, I think that all I can think for now. Uh, I will post the link uh, in the video description. And if you guys have uh, any other things that you want to ask me, if you want me to compare, if anything I missed, you can definitely ask me in my uh, in the comment section as well. Uh, I will definitely try to update the uh, Excel sheet as well as the time go by. If I see if there are anything I missed, I will definitely add it here. So make sure you uh, you check out the uh, the link to the Excel sheet here. Uh, thanks for watching the video, guys.